my loves, we're on day three of Fall Eye Week. I hope you've been enjoying it so far. We've done an olive green look, we've done a purple look, and today my theme is going to be like kind of a yellowish sunflower vibes, I think. I wanted to do something that might be a little bit toasty, you know, a little bit on the warm side, but really featuring yellow so we have some kind of color pop. As far as what's on my skin today, I use my Refi um, primer with the little roller on it. And then um, I received this foundation in PR. This is from Bobbi Brown. It's the Weightless Skin Foundation with SPF 15. Very luxe packaging with the frosted glass bottle. I'm wearing that in the shade N052 Natural. I've only worn this a few times so far, but it's looking really good. It is rather lightweight, um, but still gives a nice, like, strong medium coverage. I dug a concealer out of my stash that I hadn't worn in a long time and I actually kind of forgot that I had. It's my Dior Forever Skin Correct. This is the shade 1N. It has really nice coverage coverage, but I'm not sure I like it as well as the Revlon Color Stay Flex Wear. I mean, honestly, I set that with my Laura Mercier Ultra Blur Loose Powder. I set all over the rest of the face with Super Stay 24 Hour Hybrid Powder Foundation in 128. I do that super lightly just to kind of get the whole texture of my skin a bit more uniform. And then for the color stuff on my skin, I'm using, again, playing with my new Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked Dragon Palette from Hourglass. More to come on this, but it's that brand bronzer, that blush, highlighter, and then kind of played with both of the ambient setting powders. I did my brows. It's Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil topped with the L'Oreal Infallible Brow Lamination. And now we will also do this. L'Oreal <laughs> Infallible. Three second. <laughs> Don't suck it in. And I put Milani eyeshadow primer on my lids already. So this is the palette I'm gonna bring in for this look. This is the Tarte Maneater After Dark. Um, I think when I talked about my little palette display back there, if you saw that video, it was like a morning in the makeup room thing. I was talking about the palettes I was featuring and this one wasn't necessarily a palette I was super in love with, although the color scheme definitely says fall, but it's got exactly what I need right here. And I'm gonna see if I can be happy with this and make this work for my sunflower look today. I'm not sure if I want this look to have sparkle or not. I have this fun little guy here from M Cosmetics that I thought could be a neat layering option. It's very, very shiny, but I'm just not sure if I want to go that route. Also, I'm wearing this thermal because it's just the right color for this look, or to complement this look at least, but it's going to be really hot today, so I will have to change. Anyways, let's do some crease work here. I'm going to first go to this color called Passion right up here. I think my main issue with this palette before was just the textures on some of these shimmers gets a little crazy, but I do really like just glancing at the palette and thinking about this whole color scheme. It really is nice and fall-like, and I'm really starting to see some colors turning where I am. So hopefully those of you who have been looking for something in this color scheme will be satisfied with this today. But I'm just taking my usual Profusion crease brush and we're going back and forth. We're just getting some warmth really nicely diffused here. And that's the thing with this look, I really want it to kind of haze up and take up some room. So I'm going back to that same shade and we're just gonna build it even more. Um, I feel like I'm applying pretty light pressure to the skin, but I'm just thinking about, you know, using the surface area, whatever you got. And we're just getting that little pumpkin spice all blended in. Okay, what do we think about that? I think that looks good. Um, I do have some lighter shades in here that I could use to kind of, uh, you know, soften edges and act almost as a highlight. I'm gonna use Enamored right here. Light, peachy beige, not in focus. There we go, on the edge. So this week has been going really well with these videos. Um, they haven't been too long as far as my editing process or the uploading process, therefore. So things have actually gone super smoothly so far with getting everything posted and just staying on schedule. So hopefully today we can continue to be on schedule. So the actual full moon was last night and I went out and I just looked at it for a while. I saw somebody say, if there's a full moon, you should just go out and like, absorb the energies or whatever. So I did that in my turvy twist of my nightgown. I just stood and looked up at the moon and said, give me what you got, moon. Now we're gonna bring in our shade right here, this one called Desire. I want this to take up the lid and like I said, we'll add some sparkle if we think it's gonna be a good idea. So I'm gonna pick it up with my flat brush. I made sure I got a lot of darkness and other colors off of that brush first. This is gonna be nicely intense, yes. 
Again, I said it in the last video, but if you're just feeling bronze, I got a video for that. If you're getting fired up about eyeshadow, but still aren't that much into color. Oh, that's fun. Um, ColourPop had a really cute um, all matte palette with sunflowers all over it like a few years ago. Does anybody remember that? It was so good, but I'm pretty sure not available anymore. Still could have used it, but I know this is available if somebody really likes what I'm doing. Oh, wow. Like, there's just a look I haven't seen on myself, you know? And I think by the time this gets finished, by the time we have lashes involved and a lip, I, I just think this is gonna be a charming, wonderful look, actually. I'm building a little bit more. Think about this shade and the shade's roll in this look. I want it to take up room. So, really getting the intensity on there. I thought it looked good after one dab around, but building a bit more, yeah. Okay, then I want more of like this kind of color. I want this shade called Mischievous. Do you call it Mischievous or Mischievous? Depends on how fast I need to talk, I guess. Um, I'm gonna pat some of that on the outside. We're not looking to overtake the yellow. We just wanna partner with the yellow, okay? Look at that heat that's bringing in right in there. Ooh, layering mats is always fun. I don't think I can mess with like some kind of shimmery splash on this uh, just because this is just so pure <laughs> right now, <laughs> the way this color is, you know? I just don't think I can do that today. We had the shimmery splash yesterday, it's okay. That orange heat from the outside is really doing it. What else might be pretty? We have this reddish color right out here. It is a shimmer. It's this one called Insatiable right out here. Get a little of that. You know, when we blend, when we buff, finishes can soften. I'm really just creating an extension of the shadow in an upward way with that. I think it's kind of cool. And I would just encourage you, if you're at home playing around with new makeup looks, just have fun. Just enjoy yourself. Think more about how you feel in the process than even the finished result, because really, this should be fun. If makeup isn't fun for you, we need to change something, right? Oh, she's toasty. I'm blending over that edge just a little. This is a bare brush, by the way. Bare brush. I really like that, guys. Really do. Thinking about keeping this a top of the eye focused look as well. I will do some liner. I feel like I'll be content seeing kind of a border on this thing. So I'm gonna do Milani Stay Put The Tank. It's not The Tank, it's just Tank. But I feel like they should have called it The Tank Eyeliner. They're talking about an internal liner liquid storage method that's within it that keeps it from drying out, by the way. That's what they mean by that. Things might have gotten a little careless right in here. I feel like this came together super quick though, and pretty easily. Before I line, I should probably look at this and think, is there enough yellow still? Because if I want that liner looking crisp, I don't want to be going over it with more shadow. I might just dibby dab more yellow right in here. Third straight video of the week. I'm feeling a little slap happy. Yellow, man. Okay, all right. So I'm just taking this nice, easy to control liner pin and I'm gonna take it along my lash line. Stay with the lash line. I don't really wanna make a big thing of the liner. I just want that nice definition by the lash line. Okay, this is where we're at. I'm going to put on some mascara and figure out my lip and I will be right back. Okay, friends, here's how it turned out. I'm so happy seeing that finished look. We can do yellow. We can do yellow eyeshadow. So all that was added was this two-step mascara. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous um, Superstar Red Carpet Black. It's very nice and lengthening. So I've got that on the upper lashes and a little bit of Cali Ray Come Hell or High Water on the lower lashes. That's the only thing on the lower part of the eye today. I was just feeling very upswept with this and I wanted to keep it that way. On the lips, we're really trying to echo some of the tones that are also in the eyeshadow. So I use this Persona lip liner. There are some new shades and this is called Pumpkin. So that's the color all over. And then I did a sheer kind of goldeny, but not too loud with the gold um, gloss. This is the Lifter Gloss in Sun. So I just went all over the lips with that for a nice juicy look. 
and then I did take a bit more of this kind of warmer blush shade that's in there in the Hourglass palette and I popped that on my cheeks. And it has some glow as well so I'm seeing that come through. But I hope you guys like this look. I hope you can be encouraged to play with a little yellow in your eye look and really when it's on the lid and then you've completed your look, you've done liner, you've done mascara, things become a lot more approachable when that look is complete and that lid is now framed with lashes. To me it makes a big difference to how wearable that's going to become and it becomes just this special little thing that when you look down like oh that's fun. So try it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also I did want to note that there's a little bit more muted um, yellow color, matte yellow, in the new Too Faced Apple and Love palette. So if you got that it has a little bit more of a honey mustard yellow, just a bit deeper than what I use today but kind of on par and you could probably pull off the same kind of look out of that palette too if you have it. So thanks again my friends and I will see you tomorrow with day four. I love you. Bye.